And welcome back, guys. We're going to be playing some more Days Gone. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button, and let's get into it. Hey, what's your name? Uh, Deacon. My name's Deacon. Uh, Lisa. Lisa, how did you live out here alone for all this time? You don't talk much to you. My dad's a rock hound. He used to take me out here looking for thunder eggs. Thunder eggs? Uh, what is that? They're rocks, but when you cut them open, they're really pretty inside. Okay. Th that sounds great. He used to go all over. On that crater. The lava flow and black crater, everywhere. Do you think he's at the camp too? Uh, I don't know, kid. Someone's in the tunnel. What? Listen to me. The gunshots that you heard, those were oh, hey. really bad men. Do you understand? Yes. Stay here. Find some place to hide. Don't come Man, out until I say so. Okay. Yeah, okay. You see, asshole. Lisa! Kid! Come on out, it's safe! Come on, hop on. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I want to go home. Nah, kid, the camp. You'll be safe there, you'll see. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna ask you a question, Lisa, and I need you to think real hard. Did any of your neighbors, did they own any firearms, you know, like uh, pistols, rifles, things like that? No. Men came and took everything. Men? Were they like the men in the tunnel, or, or did they wear uniforms like, uh, like in the army? Like the army. But they were really dirty, and they carried flags they made themselves. Um, Deschutes County Militia, I think. I don't remember. Did 
They have anyone with them? Women? Children? I don't remember. Okay. Tommy would remember. Tommy? Tommy Strickland. My best friend. But he's gone. He left with his dad to hide. Hide? I, I don't... His dad built a fallout shelter and put all kinds of stuff in it. Maps, food, water, guns, you know. Stuff like that. Okay, okay. do you know where that is? No. They wanted me to come with them, but I knew my mom and dad would come back for me. All right, this is it. We're here, yeah, so just I know him. stay with me. Okay. Well, who do we have here? Mrs. Tucker. Oh my God. <laughs> Lisa, honey. Oh, it's okay. You're safe now. Mom and Dad, and everyone got sick, and I didn't know what to do, and men came, and people shh, had shh, to shh. shake, and... It's okay. You're safe now. It's a miracle. It's a goddamn miracle. We were neighbors, weren't we, Lisa? I lived just down the block. I knew her parents. Are they here, Mrs. Tucker? Honey, you know the answer to that. No. They're not here. Let's go in. Get you cleaned up. Something to eat, and then, then I'll find a place for you to sleep. Take her in. Give her some food. Go see Alki. I'll update your credits tonight. Hey, hey, listen, listen. She's she's been through a lot. Can we just let me worry take about it? how? No, I'm gonna... listen to me, okay? Seriously, don't work her like you do everyone else. Don't tell me how to run my camp. You want to move here? You want to help us run this? Then maybe you get some say. <laughs> don't get soft on me, Dee. Hey, what do you need? Hey, what's up? Low on fuel, huh? We're gonna run out of this someday, you know. Ah, I rode this one hard. See you later. 
Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna look around. How you doing? Hey, what's going on? What the hell? Get back to work. Can I get anything else for you? Thanks. Yeah, all right. I'll be here. Thanks, Deacon. What? Can I help you? Uh, just having a look. Last time I saw Boozer was a few weeks ago. He's still around. Yeah, same as ever. Guess he's just been busy. Stop by soon. Say, uh, Metolius Springs, Metolius Springs. Yeah, yeah, I know where that is. Hey, Boozer, you there? Yeah, Deke. I just caught a break. That Nero radio might actually be useful. I know where they're going tomorrow. Wait, I thought you said you couldn't take them on. No, I can't, but with a little luck, I can get to their chopper without being seen and... Give them hell, brother. Remember what Jack used to say? Don't ride faster than your guardian angel can fly. Like I said, Jack used to say a lot of stupid shit. Deacon out. All right, let's go see what the hell Nero is up to. Now, Brian, I got some questions for you. Deacon St. John, you out there? We got a job for you here at the Hot Springs. Docker, okay, I'll head your way. St. John out. So, you want to learn how to hunt? Is that what I'm hearing? I know how to shoot a gun. It's a rifle, not a gun. I was in the 10th Mountain Cope. Don't give me any Marine Corps bullshit. 
Killing a buck's a little different than killing a man. Or a freak. Best way to hunt an animal is to track it. You gotta focus. And see what nature's trying to tell you. If you look hard enough, you'll see the signs. Okay then, look hard. See this pile of deer scat? It's fresh. Yeah, I see it. They lead this way. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Well, come on then. Quick, there's your buck. I see him. Now here, use my rifle. If you were in the 10th mountain, you know how to use a scope. Yeah, Cope, I know how to use a scope. Easy, easy. I got this. Got him! Nice shot. Oh, God damn it! it wasn't a kill shot. He got away. No, no, that's okay. You wounded him. He'll bleed out soon enough. You just gotta track him. Okay. Follow him. On it. He'll be slowing down about now. Losing too much blood. We should be coming across his carcass any time now. Okay. You know how to gut an animal? Yeah, look. Cope, Boozer and I have been hunting before. He used to go elk hunting with his old man, and yeah, he, uh, he showed me how to gut a deer. Well, let's just say no disrespect to Boozer, but you've got a lot to learn. You're wasting a lot of meat there. Overall, not bad for a beginner. Yeah, thanks. Now, I'll take back that rifle. Here, thanks. Like I said, Deke, we can always use more venison at the camp. Still got some folks trying to heal up from that Ripper attack. Okay, Cope. Yeah, I'll see if I can remember that. Hey, been seeing you around more. I was in my hey, Manny. I didn't think I'd see you around so much. What's going on? I'll refuel you nice and good.
remember tools being no idea how to use them. You know? I mean, ever. Should have more stuff later. Back to work. How's it going, booze man? I'm fine, goddammit. Hey, Deke, we're getting low on supplies. Could use some more meat if you get a chance. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I guess it's been a while since we did any hunting. I'll see if I can scare up some meat while I'm out. Hmm. You, uh, there we go. remember what you're doing? Uh, yeah, I had Cope give me a few pointers, believe it or not. Cope? Shit, I don't believe it. Thanks, Deke. See you, booze man. All right, now I just gotta find some meat. Uh, deer, bear, wolf. Fuck, don't matter to me. This is Radio <laughs> Free Market. The tree shall set you free. I grew up in these here woods. My grandfather taught me all about hunting. Funny how it still works in a world he never would have dreamed of. I built my first tree house to use as a deer blind. Getting height on your target helps your aim and keeps you safe. Back then, I took out my first doe from the top. Damn it, so close. Today, my camp's up in the trees. You want to survive and can contribute, you come to me. We got you covered. My grandfather also taught me to catch a doe. Sometimes you gotta lay an ambush. Hide where they need to go. Like a watering hole. Today, you're as likely to be prey as hunter. So you gotta keep your eyes peeled when you're hitting up places we all need to go. But grandfather always said the easiest way to a good meal was to lay a trap. With a snare by a tree, and you can have dinner next time you come round. But careful. A headless snake can still bite. Especially when it ain't really dead. <laughs> My grandfather would have outlived us all. Let me tell you. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Well, that's great, Cope. So you and your granddaddy set traps for him, and you and your old man used to lay down salt licks. Yeah, it's real sporting.
Okay, Doc. Lieutenant, don't become carrion yourself. Only animals can become carrion, Corporal, not humans. Sure, I, I saw you some. You guys checked the perimeter, right? Yeah, it's clear. This way, you poor son of a bitch. At least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. And I wasn't that been something. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh, what do you want? Stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero Protocol 2-7 states clearly that uh, if conducting operations in quarantine zones, if I encounter any civilians or sub... sub Civilians that I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive? What? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. The next time, refugee Nero camp, protocol two the chapters were burning, the, I, everyone was dead. Two they were slaughtered, seven. torn, limb Nero for goddamn limb. Protocol All right, listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell is you're doing out here. The hard way. I crack open that little space suit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So what's it going to be, O'Brien? <laughs> Yes? Okay? Okay? You remember the rooftop of the old brewery? I put a woman on your chopper, she was wounded. Yes. I remember. A, a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead, so I'm gonna ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, the camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You, you have one of our radios. That's how you... Uh, I, I can't promise anything, but... I'll check. Uh huh, and I'm gonna go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't. Hey, you don't understand, but fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look, if you're gonna fucking kill me, do it, okay? I did my job. Did the woman, your wife? I put her on oxygen, I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic, she wasn't gonna make it, but I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life. O'Brien, <sighs> report. I have to go. Please, I, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Ryan, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to track you down. And I'm going to do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. 
But you're not the only one who lost someone that night. Man, um, a few days ago, I asked you if you remembered that Nero asshole O'Brien. Uh, yeah, Deke, it's, it's all uh, kind of a blur. Yeah, yeah, okay, get some shut eye booze, man. I'll tell you about it later. <sighs> when are we riding out of here, Deke? Oh, <laughs> soon, loser, real soon. Look, <clears throat> as soon as your arm heals, we're gonna be riding the hell out of here. O'Brien. Are you out there? O'Brien! Oh, you son of a bitch, you better radio me. You hear me, O'Brien? I know you're on this channel. God damn it. You better get back to me or I'm going to track you down. You got that? Oh, God damn it. Oh, come on! O'Brien! Get back to me. down the chopper. Was it the same guy, the one we saw on the roof that night? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it was him. Do you remember it was Sarah? What happened? I don't know. They got diverted south. He he remembered her, but he doesn't know what happened. I don't think she's still alive. No. No, look, I'm not stupid. Sir. I just want to find out, you know, what happened to her. Where she died. I don't need to find any peace. I, I gotta go, all right? Deacon out.
God damn it. everything.
the bounty. Should look for fuel. <sighs> fuel can. <sighs> Needed this. <laughs> Good. Hey, booze man. I brought in some meat. Should keep us stocked up for a while. Hey, Deke, thanks, man. I'm not real hungry right now. I'll, I'll salt it up in a bit. Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.